As some of you know, I'm teaching my mom how to run her very first mile by her birthday at the end of July. This was week four of training, of teaching my mom how to run. And for this week, it was a natural lull in the training because there are different phases with running. What she's been doing has been incredible considering she never was active and never ran before. And she managed to run every single day last week for week three. This week was a lot more mellow to allow all of the work that she's been doing to actually sink in. And I tried to explain to my mom that even in marathon training, when I was training with Nike last fall, we have these natural progressions where you work really, really hard and then you have to have a little period of rest and recovery. So while my mom has been working really, really hard, she is having this natural recovery cycle where this week she wasn't training as hard. She was still getting out to the track every day and walking and doing her jock strides whenever she could, but I emphasize just taking it very easy this week because it's really important to make sure you listen to your body and not try to push too much too soon. So week four, one terrible day, and now hopefully a better day. I'm gonna start out slower and we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna call it jogging anymore. I'm gonna call it jogging. Cause I think that's what I'm doing. I think other people are doing it and I'm sort of keeping up with them. So it was a better day today, slower, but I thought better to just be Kind of jumping up and down instead of getting pooped out so i feel really happy i feel like okay okay i got this i can do it better day today for sure um and i'm done with jogging i'm jogging here i am getting ready to do another So I started slow. I walked three and a half lap, and then I said, okay, girl, see if you can do one whole lap without stopping. And I did. Okay, another day where I got up and I thought, nah, I don't, I'm not feeling it. Oh, but then I was feeling it, so you're right. And I took my time but I'm so out of breath and I feel like being my size and trying to do this is making it hard because all the young people around me are just skipped to my loo and I'm just like, <laughs> but I did it, bye. But I don't know. I just can't breathe in deep enough. I keep trying, keep trying so hard to breathe. And I just never feel like I get the whole amount that I should be able to store for the oxygen. But meanwhile, it's a beautiful day. I got out here. My mom has made amazing progress with learning how to run. With the heat and the humidity, I've explained to my mom that breathing is so much harder when you're trying to run. It's really easy to get into this cycle of thinking you have to go exactly as fast as you did the day before, when really you need to balance it, where for every hard day, you have an equal amount of easy rest days. So for my mom, she had so much um, improvement that she's made over the past few weeks. 
that this week it was all about keeping it mellow and just keeping the body moving without doing too much. The week of rest and recovery has also showed my mom all the support she has from people that she's met on Strava that have all kinds of advice to offer given that everyone starts from somewhere and we all have different experiences to share and help get people through what they would consider a running rut. So I think all in all this week taught her that she has a really big support system and we're all cheering for my mom.